Hello and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name's Michelle and today I'm going to be trying on and opening up my Ipsy September box for 2019. I'm really excited because I've already opened it up and taken a peek. There's some amazing products in here. Now this is the $25 a month subscription where you get five full-size products. Now Ipsy is changing their subscription services. They're gonna have three different options now where you're gonna get the glam bag for $12 a month and that's gonna have like five or six deluxe sample size products that you'll get each month. And then there's gonna be the Ipsy Plus Glam Bag Plus, <laughs> which is that box that I'm gonna show you today. That is gonna stay at the $25 a month. Uh, all of these are plus tax, by the way. And then there's going to be the Ultimate, where I, I think if I read right, you're gonna get like six to seven, maybe even eight full-size products, and then a couple of deluxe sample sizes in there as well. Starting next month, we're gonna get a bag in the box. I don't know how I feel about that. We were sounding off in the comments of my last Ipsy video, so if you're curious on checking out all the details, go watch last month's video, and um, I go a little more in depth with all of that. I do have a referral link in the description box down below if you're interested in signing up for Ipsy. I appreciate it. I just earn points on the Ipsy site. It's not like a commission base or anything like that. While we're talking about links and stuff, check out this shirt I got at Kohl's for $5. How cute is this? Sorry, I, I realized I'm leaning back on the chair and you can't really see. How cute! It was $5, okay? And it's still on sale right now. I know there's like a 30% off coupon floating around. I'll put my link to this exact t-shirt. It's soft, but it's not scratchy. And it's not like too soft where I feel like when I put it in the laundry, it's gonna get holes. You know those really nice silky shirts that are floating around? They're so comfortable. But I feel like after a couple washes, if something snags it, it instantly has a hole. Where this is like a nice, like traditional cotton, but it's not. Sorry, if you're new here, I am a rambler. I'm from New York. I talk with my hands a lot. And I like having this like friend to friend, sitting on the couch, in the beauty room, hanging out kind of vibe. Um, I know that's not for everyone. Everyone says I talk too much. But let's go ahead and get started because there's a lot to go through today and I'm excited to try them all on. Lots of palettes. Like, again, this subscription is only $25, and I'm getting all of this. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, this might be one of my favorite boxes thus far. So let's start off with the product that I'm kinda like, eh, and only because I already own it. It is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I got this in a Actually, I got a deluxe sample size in an Ipsy bag a couple of months ago, and then when I saw that it was an option for a customization option in the Fat But Fun Spring box, I added it on to that box. And as you can see, woo, almost dropped it there. Um, I put a decent dent, but there's still a ton of product left over, so I may pass this along or um, maybe put it up on my Poshmark. Maybe somebody else could get a good deal out of swooping it up. I'm not sure. I do like the powder. It's not my all-time ultimate favorite, but I do like to use it to set my under eyes. So nothing wrong with the product. I was just kind of bummed that I already owned it. Starting next month, I will say you will be able to customize, oh, I think, one option in your box. So that'll be cool. That would have avoided me like getting doubles because maybe this could have been one I could have swapped out for another product. Oh my gosh, we're five minutes in already. I'm so sorry. The next product, I'm not going to be able to demo for you because I already have a full face and I wasn't thinking. It is the pomegranate mask. So maybe I can kind of insert a clip of me trying this out tonight. I was reading over the ingredients and it sounds amazing. One of my clients was talking about how she had gotten this in her box and I guess mine hadn't come yet because I wasn't sure that I was gonna get it. On the side, it says that appeasing skin and reducing redness, ideal for the first few weeks after summer or any time where your skin has been overexposed to sunlight. I hope your skin is never overexposed to sunlight. Ah, it's the number one thing that ages us girls. It has azelaic acid that acts to remove dead skin cells while pomegranate boosts collagen production and fights free radical damage. I want all of those things on my face because you're going to cleanse and then lightly exfoliate the skin and then apply a thin layer of this mask, leaving it on for about 10 minutes, not allowing it to fully dry. And I feel like that is huge to remember, and I love that they have it in the directions, that you should never let any of your clay or sulfur or any sort of masks totally like dry and get crackly. Number one, it's really difficult to remove at that point. You wanna like take it off right before it gets to that point when it's still a little bit gloopy and soft and um, 
not dried out but also when it gets to that point that also starts to extract too much from your skin including moisture your natural oils and unbalancing your skin so finding that perfect balance of when to wipe off masks or treatments like this is really important it says you can remove it in the shower, which I'm thinking the steam is gonna be really great for this. Pomegranate can be a little bit active, so if you do feel sensitive to the product, I would remove it after two or three minutes or so. I'm excited to use that. Oh, and if I didn't say so already, the steam and the warmth, if you have the shower going while applying this, is gonna help activate it a little bit better. Like when I do facials and I put enzymes on clients, I have them under steam to activate the enzyme a little bit further and have it work a little bit better. Now for the makeup I'm gonna try on for you let's bust into this nomad palette it is huge and beautiful and I can't wait to get this out funny story when I heard the nomad name I was like that sounds so familiar don't I have something from them before and then the light bulb went off and I remembered they make one of my all-time most favorite eyeshadows of life this has a severe look the front I don't know if you can see the name is like totally wiped off I have used this so much. I'll see if I can do an insert where you can see that it is quite used. Beautiful shade. Love this on the inner corner to brighten things up. I love the formula. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that these are very similar. Oh wow, the pans are huge and very fall vibes. Check that out. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And you all know I have like a partial love affair with greens like this, these mossy type of greens. So let's see if we can play with this a little bit and do just a really quick look. Oh, it does say on the box that it's a special edition for Ipsy and not for sale. So apparently this is gonna be the only place you're gonna be able to get this exact palette. Okay, I decided to save somewhat on time to just go ahead and do the look off camera so I wasn't dragging this out any further. I used the warm shades on this side. That's going to be held in all over the lid. I put poor but sexy padded right into the center on the outer corner here. I applied Tekelis. I hope I'm saying that right. Orani and Stray. Or on this one right here into the crease some eyeliner I put a little bit of the Sigma longwear eyeliner on my tight line and then a little bit of mascara I am still currently loving the Il Maquillage one that came in a plus box a couple months back it's starting to dry out though mm, I'm sad um, I do have other ones I need to burn through so I won't be repurchasing it but it is a really great mascara then for the cool tone side this one was a little more difficult like the red over here really wanted to blend in. I kind of had to go back in a couple times with my pinky and put this guy back on this outer corner. Same thing with the greens. They really wanted to muddy up and like blend really nicely together, but I wanted there to be some sort of distinction between the crease, the lid, and the inner corner, and then down here. So I did put um, the NDW. Oh, I forgot to mention that that um, NDW, this bright green, is on um, the under half here. On the under half here, we have Easy Side Gallery mixed in with a little bit of the purple. And then on the lid, we basically just kind of smooshed together in different parts. Like I was trying to separate it between this more bright green and these more mossy greens. Where is it? These two. But they kept like smooshing together. It's okay. I ended up going in and putting the black on the outer corner just to have a little bit more definition but these really wanted to um, play nicely together which is cool um, as you can see they're very similar on the back of my hand those are four different shades there um, pretty when you can get them isolated I didn't use any primer or glitter primer or anything like that maybe using a white base would really make them pop and like stay put which would help with having the color segments but overall I think the look looks nice. Do you like the more cool toned or the warm side? Let's move on to highlighting the face. I am so stoked about this. This is a mini palette from Ofra. I love Ofra highlighters. And it's the collaboration with Madison Miller. I don't know who Madison Miller is. Oh, should I? Oh, I, I feel so embarrassed. I actually already own a couple of Ofra highlighters already, so hopefully these aren't duplicates. This is the Nikki Tutorials one. I use this one all the time. The glazed donut right here, oh, life. I also really like Rodeo Drive. It looks really orangey, but it does, or like warm and like darker, but it does not look that way 
on more of a pale tone like myself. This one sometimes looks a little too icy, but this is Star Island. I really like this one too. So it kind of depends on the day. If I'm going for a little glowy, then I go with Rodeo Drive. If I want more of an icy look, then I go with the Star Island. So let's see what her palette looks like. What kind of color combination she came up with. Ooh, it's more of a blush thing. Shoot, I already have a little bit of blush on. Um, and these look more of like a bronzy type of look. Let me see if I can swatch these out for you here. Okay, so this one is more of like a peach. This one's more of like a cool toned pink. And then we have a nice corally pink uh, blush. That'd be kind of cool to travel with something like this. You'd have a little bit of everything with each of the palettes. I think the Nikki tutorial one was still available. I got it off Ulta. I could put a link down below if it's still there so you can check it out. I did get mine on sale when it was like $13.50 during one of those Ulta sort of beauty deals and what i'm doing is i'm picking up the blush but i can see that it's coming off quite a bit on my brush and whoo that's a lot even patting it off ofra products are so so pigmented i'm gonna blend this together with my bronzer brush no additional product just whatever was left over and I still need to um, spritz my face, so hopefully those will kind of smoosh together nicely. I'm going to go in with the more of the peachy one today. And use this right up here. Look how pigmented that is. I didn't tap it off on purpose to show you just how wet these highlighters can come off. They are so impactful. If you like a good glow, this is where it's at. I'm really gonna work it in so it doesn't look chalky. Not that they do, but sometimes if I a powder highlight can do that. And then go back in with the bronzer brush just to soften the line between those areas. And let's apply a little lip product. I forgot that there was gonna be a lip product in here, so I do have some on. This is a lipstick from Illamasqua in the shade Solar. Whoa, that is bright. Maybe I could just go on over this like nude color I have going on. Wow, it almost looks like a stain, but super comfortable. It's not dry, kind of creamy feeling. It's an interesting consistency. It feels really good, especially once I like blended it out. It's not a color I would wear every day, but it's super fun. I like it. It's comfortable. Let's spritz my face to kind of blend this cheek in a little bit better because I feel like it's still standing out. And maybe it's the two different eye thing throwing me off too. You think I can go in public like this? I have to do some errands. I'm just spritzing my face with the Scandinavia makeup setting spray that I got as an add-on. I added it to my box for um, my fall FabFitFun box. I think it was like $10 or something. Totally worth it. I'm really liking that one. I like it a little bit better compared to the all-nighter spray. The all-nighter sometimes leaves me a little bit shiny and tacky. This one eventually, I'm like a little bit shiny right now. And it sort of like shrink wraps onto my face. And then you don't see any of the shine or liquidiness at all. So that is everything that came in my September Ipsy Plus box. Let me know what you think, how this look turned out in the comments down below. A little wacky with the two different eye thing, but eh. Does anybody in public ever look at you that closely that they would realize it? And are you really gonna see them again? Just go out and enjoy yourself, right? We're having fun here. Thank you so much for being here with me. Stay tuned for the recommended video that's coming up here next. And ooh, a little like since you're here at the end, Logan and I are going to be filming our first video together. We're going to do our wedding vlog intro. Uh, I've already filmed some footage and I was like, we need kind of like an intro video. So we're going to do that together this coming week. And I'm so excited. He's a little bit shy and a little more reserved and private than I am. I'm like, I'll tell you everything and be loud. But he agreed to doing it. And I thought that was a lot of fun. I'm like really grateful to have somebody in my life that supports what I do here, but also is willing to kind of participate every once in a while in doing so. Okay, now I'll let you go. Thank you so much for being here and a part of the Sparkle Me Pink community, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.